Some people say that our wishes are just too beautiful. They are beautiful, but they're also transformational. And today I'm here with Dr. Tal Ben Shaha to tell us why. You know, I attended a, a few meetings of Make-A-Wish and um, I was really struck by the kind of work that they did. And, and, and I asked Denise, so how, how can we help at Native Center? And she said, I want to do research. And when she first said that, I must say that um, my team and I, we were concerned. We were concerned that uh, what if the research shows that it doesn't work or doesn't work as, as well as, as they think? And yet they wanted to go ahead, which takes courage and, of course, uh, a great deal of honesty and integrity. So we did the research and we were amazed. What we did was we took uh, over 60 kids, half of them in um, the control group, the other half were waiting for their wish, and we looked at physiological as well as psychological measures. And on every variable, every parameter, we saw improvement. You know, Denise, you often say that while doctors give the medicine, Make-A-Wish gives the magic. It is magical. We come into the lives of these children in the most vulnerable time of their lives and ask them four questions. If you could be anything, what would that be? Or go anywhere, meet anyone, or receive anything, what would that be? And when a child says, I want a pirate ship, I want to be a pirate for a day, and we build a pirate ship in his backyard. And when we looked at the research and the results, we asked ourselves, why, how does it work so well? And the answer, we believe, lies in the fact that participants exercise a different muscle than the one they're used to. They exercise the muscle of impossibility. Because to see Messi or to meet Clinton or for some kids to, to, to get an iPhone, that's in the realm of the impossible. And yet, when they actually get that, when they fulfill that wish, it becomes possible. Now, once they have turned one impossibility into a possibility, why not do it elsewhere? Why not also do it when it comes to the medical condition that they are treating. And I thank you for assigning Dr. Anand Shoshani on this because she did a phenomenal job. She did, and, and we're very grateful for this opportunity. Looking at this research, it makes me reconnect to why I do what I do. This particular project, the Make-A-Wish approach, is changing lives. This is the first time that research journal article has been published about Make-A-Wish, even though there has been research about it before. And what we really hope at the Metiv Center is that this will give a push to, to Make-A-Wish in Israel and around the world, because it is so important. And you know, magic is supposed to be outside the realm of, of scientific research. Well, this study shows that it's not. It actually happens.